Movies of the Week, where we watch made-for-TV movies and miniseries so you don't have to. From Gia to Xenon, Hysteria to Sybil, welcome to Movies of the Week. Hey. Uh, it is the plight of the rich and the not-so-rich. <laughs> or the, pr- the previously rich? There's uh, Joey Lawrence's character's name is... Um, do you guys remember Michael or Mike, yes, yes, Michael. Tommy? Michael. Tom, I know Tommy. Tommy's, Tommy's his little boy. Or the cousin, sorry. Right. <laughs> They're not brothers in this movie. They're cousins. <laughs> so it's a rich L.A. cousin and his uh, country Montana uh, younger cousin. And he comes for a visit. And, oh, man, they don't, they don't have any fun because the L.A. The LA cousin, Michael, is uh, preoccupied with his uh, mall girlfriend <laughs> and college, I guess. Yeah, college. Because he lo- he looks very old though. So that could that's probably <laughs> a good place to start. For bringing Josh. that up. Because that was my. I hope that was the whole movie. Well, so <laughs> explain that well. wasn't my first note. My first note was that's an amazing alarm clock. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, yeah. It was just video the, alarm clock. The video, the, the, the woman's mouth saying, "Wake His up." His room needed a scene. Yeah, because I mean, it was like too quick. Yeah, well, he had a full gym in his room. <laughs> Yeah, and a big fish tank. I mean, they make it clear that he's very rich. Um, <laughs> yeah, very early on. Um, but yeah, oh, he yeah. he looks like he's oh, like he's almost forty. Um, mm-hmm. But I did a little digging, and he was only twenty three when this movie was released. So oh, I don't. Mm. Maybe it's just their genes. Like I don't know. <laughs> but why is he? He has like a the man Lawrence body. Jeans. It's really weird, dude. Yeah. I, I I was confused by the fact that their college, I guess, looks like a high school. <laughs> well, so I thought it was like yeah. first, and then yeah. and then I saw that they were do, they had handwritten essays, and I was like, yes. well, this has to be high school, but it was also 1999, and like that's what colleges did back then. Yeah, they had those blue sure. books. So, Ooh, um, blue book. I f- I. I'm realizing the more I think about this movie, the more it just makes sense. You know, like everything in everything in this world makes sense. I I keep trying to poke holes in it, and there's nothing to poke holes in. Every part of it. It's perfect. Exactly. Was, all right. If there are things to poke holes in, this film does have a terrible portrayal of any women in it. Like the uh, girlfriend. Yeah. The fact that he's just like <laughs> women gotta have their jewels. Oh, dude! I think I wrote girlfriends are shopping somewhere. I just thought that was the late nineties. You know, I don't know. Yeah. The line that women gotta have their jewels reminded me of Freddy Got Fingered, which was a delightful thing to be experiencing. I got you your jewels. jewels. (laughs) Your jewels. I I don't want the jewels. I just want to suck your cock. But but (laughs) just the fact that... I don't know. She couldn't be a vehicle for this type of contention in any other way other than the fact that she's just like this vapid girl that just like wants all of his time. Yeah. They're always having difficulty with like who's saying I love you first in these situations and it's just she's always shopping. The one the one moment where they could have given her some humanity where he's confessing to her that his his cousin is having these money troubles. She's just like don't you want to go to France? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, okay. She, he takes, so we're supposed to hate her. He takes a five second pause to look at the stars, and she's like, "You don't care about me anymore. You just all you care about is those stupid stars." And I'm like, "This woman is awful." Um, yeah, they really paint a terrible picture of her, and she keeps calling her dad, "Daddy," and it's just uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, and, I and, and like Tom even that. goes so far to say that like chicks can mess with your head sometimes. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Which one? That it's was a awesome. child saying that. He's like, what is this kid talking about? He's a very he's the man of the house. He's a very wise child. <laughs> very clear. He's been through some shit. He, he has. Really. That was actually like I was like, this is sad. <laughs> no, this is sad. this is a sad movie. <laughs> Um, yeah. I mean that that montage in the beginning where he's like depressed watching VHS tapes. <laughs> he's sadly playing soccer by himself. Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> what? That was so and, sad. And then Michael had the audacity to put him in a daycare. Dude, that was oh, that was my bro. favorite. Do you remember when those places existed? <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. oh, man. Yeah, I, he. Yeah. So he just treats this kid horribly and. 
I, I won't say that it justifies how Tommy treats him in the second half of the movie, but I mean, I think he goes a little <laughs> overboard <laughs> with this. Just a little. With, with the, the sabotaging of, of all of his chores, but uh, um, he definitely deserved it. Um, so um, I really wanted to get into um, a part earlier in the movie. So uh, this is right after Tommy gets to L.A. Um, he's getting shown around the house. And um, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but they had uh, the movie Brink playing on the big screen. <gasps> yes. I, I, I did not. <laughs> I had a big <laughs> jump up moment when that happened. <laughs> yeah, so there's two possible um, reasons for this. Um, uh, one, they're just watching Brink the movie uh, that's on TV. Sure. Like they're watching Disney Channel, mo- the you know actual Disney Channel movie, or um, it's showing the actual championships that took place in Brink oh. on TV. <laughs> and if that's the case, and this takes Damn. place in the same universe as Brink, <laughs> which I, that's really which I cool. find super interesting. I mean, obviously this is just a little, you know, a little goof that they throw, that they threw in because it was fun. But, um, I, I find it kind of cool that these universes are connected. Um, yeah. And I do like the potential for both of those, whether Brink is a movie in horse sense or Brink is happening while horse sense like, is happening. Like horse sense is like our reality. Um, and all the Disney yeah. movies take place in that universe. Exactly. It's <laughs> beautiful. Horse sense is the only Disney movie that's aware that Disney movies exist. Exactly. Well, Disneyland exists. That's what's so oh, like that, yeah. those that Josh, they just Josh, keep dude, talking about Disneyland. You're connecting the dots right now. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Disneyland is like hammered home as like yeah. the thing to do in LA. Yeah. I, I mean, want, it I was. It was. <laughs> <Twice>. <laughs> All right, so um, after this weird, depressing montage, um, uh, you know, Michael promises to take Tommy to Disneyland after his uh, um, after his maid scolds him for the fiftieth time, um, and then he great side character. Exactly, I loved her. She was she was great. Uh, so uh, he promises to take him to Disneyland. They're on their way there, and then of course his horrible girlfriend calls him and is like, "You got to meet Daddy." And then uh, he's like, I guess I got to meet Daddy. And then he drops, he, uh, he drops Tommy off at, at daycare, Kitty Zone, um, mm. and goes to the horse track and, you know, bets with uh, her father. Um, and then uh, I, I believe Michael um, goes to pick up Tommy, uh, but he's late, he gets in a car accident. Uh, uh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, oh, you, before you this, at the okay. horse track, okay, okay. Oh, boy. the horse track is where they establish, and this this is where I'm going to have a question with what the title of the movie means, because to me, the horse track is when they establish that Michael has like an innate sense of horses, and he has a bond with them because he's able to continue to pick winners, and Daddy... Just, oh. just, just keeps being like, "How do you keep picking these winners?" And he's like, "Well, I gotta go pick up my cousin." And he's like, "No, you gotta pick another winner." He's like, "Well, okay." And so I thought that that's what the horse sense was: is that <laughs> is that he had like this sort of like telemetry Superpower. with horses, yeah. huh. and he bonded yeah. with them because he understood them. But I also thought, is horse sense supposed to be like common sense, and that's what he gets in the end? Or I think is it it's that he does have a bond with horses. I think it's both. I think um, I could. Yeah. I think it's both. I, I think the the title of the film probably more has to do with the fact that he gets common sense. Okay. Um, <laughs> not that he has some kind of superpower where he can <laughs> he can talk to horses <laughs> well, and well or read not, horses. To jump to the end. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's like a really good uh, point, Max. And I think it's it's kind of a theme throughout the movie. Um, you know. Tommy obviously has some kind of uh, special connection to horses because he um, can stop time. He could. He stops time. Yes, <laughs> he's very good. Uh, it's okay, boy. Boy, it's okay. Okay, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, easy, boy. Easy, oh, boy. Easy, easy. I loved that. That those. Everything of that, like calming down the horses, was just so funny. I didn't know that's all you had to do so to calm a horse is just say, "Oh boy, Whoa. oh boy, <laughs> calm down, boy." Uh, You're gonna be okay. <laughs> it's like. Um, but yeah, I don't. I wish they they went into that a little more. Um, you know, maybe we saw 
someone else in the family have a connection to horses. I mean, obviously, Tommy's dad, uh, he owned the ranch, so he must have some kind of connection to horses. But um, but a very good point, Max. Um, uh, but so after um, they uh, leave the – or after he leaves the racetrack, he uh, tries to pick up uh, Tommy from the kiddie zone. Uh, but he, he is already gone. He, he was like, fuck this, and he left. Um, and then he comes to find out that, you know, Tommy called, I guess, his mom uh, or his aunt or Michael's mom to pick him up, um, at which point uh, he gets in a world of trouble with his dad. <laughs> He's like, to say the least. Yes, exactly. Uh, ends up getting sent to Tommy's ranch for the summer. Or I guess for a month, right? It's not the whole summer. Yeah. Um, yeah. To yeah. learn some, some the, the values of hard work and discipline. Um, and if he fucks up, he can't go on his uh, his trip with his girlfriend to the French Riviera. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, when he gets off of the plane, they give you a little a little taste, a little sneak peek <laughs> of his brother. Okay, of the yeah, other I have, Lawrence. Well, I have to put right. a wink. Yes. Okay. And so, this is where my memory of this movie, I guess, completely deterred from what this actual movie is. And maybe I had some sort of fantasy in my mind of what this movie was. Because I thought that what it was is that he was like a real cool cowboy. And he was going to teach him the ways of working on a ranch. And that Michael was gonna like teach him the ways of like picking up chicks. Whoa, 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 wh
And so you as the viewer are doing the same thing, one, <laughs> wondering when is he going to find out about the money troubles with the ranch? Mm-hmm. When is this going to happen? And fun fact, there's 20 minutes left when he figures it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 The, the, as it like, as he learns it really like moves quick so from fast. there Very like what he act because yeah and, and then and he I mean, grows so much in that time too like it's like 25 he minutes does. and he changes completely as a character <laughs> yeah. goes back to like goes stars. back to the ranch <laughs> has a bunch of horrible yeah. ideas about how to save the ranch um <laughs> one of the shots of him in front of those stars he's clearly in front of a green screen Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It is amazing. Uh, yeah. Also, okay, so dumb horse shit. Like, he's, <laughs> so he's super into horses. They established that, like, at the beginning of the fucking movie. The, the, like, Tommy is going like, Ugh, it's such fucking bullshit that you like horse racing because they're so cruel to those animals. Mm-hmm. And, Animal cruelty, yeah. And they <laughs> use sp- spurs on the fucking <laughs> ranch and not just like like there are nice spurs that you can get that are just like a little nub a little nub of metal on the back of your shoe but that they use razor just, blades like, jostles it. but no they use classical western spurs which Ow. fuck up the horses so bad and they also brand their animals yeah, i saw that too i was like that yeah the is, branding is, hurt I, oh. I thought they just put little bracelets on them now i didn't know they still branded <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, Tommy? Yeah, the branding was like, whoa, double standard, Tommy? You don't see this? Is that no wonder the movie? ranch is in, is in ruins. They they torture these animals before they sell them. <laughs> yeah. They're getting these shocked cattle. Craziness. You're absolutely right, Max. Yeah. What a hypocrite. Oh, uh, there, there was a minor thing that I thought uh, logically made no sense. They, like, the aunts, Tommy and Michael, drive into town or whatever. Uh-huh. And and Michael's like, hey, is there anywhere I could get a oh, coffee? And part. she's like, no. and the aunt's like, there's no coffee houses around here. And he's like, well, how about a soda? And she's like, there's a diner across the street. <laughs> and my brain was like, that's where you can get coffee. Yeah, <laughs> You can well, get coffee at diners. <laughs> I found it crazy that there was no coffee shops. It's 1999, yeah. but there, there's no coffee shops? That invent, yeah. like, that was invented when Starbucks was invented, apparently? <laughs> that was the first first one. <laughs> Yeah, that confused me logically. It's like in the same. And then he's like, "You guys have movie theaters, right?" He's like, "We got two. Yeah, I feel like there were other ways. Definitely have a coffee house. Definitely other ways to convey it's a small town with without the luxuries of of Los Angeles, right? I mean, but you know that she knew that he wanted a nice little espresso, I know, cappuccino, he wanted a venti triple cappuccino. (laughs) (laughs) You you want a little bit of you know a biscotti? He wanted some oat milk in that latte. (laughs) That was like the turkey bacon part. That part was weird. I just yes. wrote down. I wrote down. There's nothing wrong with turkey bacon in my notes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're ve- very anti-health in this movie, and I don't appreciate that was, it. That was twi- Twister was challenging him, challenging his masculinity. <laughs> Twister and Mule. Yeah, but the turkey bacon's pretty good. It's just like it's just kind of like drier ham. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking Mule. <laughs> yeah, yeah Mule and Twister yeah. characters. <laughs> Maybe you should fire those two. That's why the fucking ranch is going. <laughs> What are they doing? Well, just torturing like they got, they got Michael. Just pranking Michael. <laughs> That's what they were hired for. This is during the summer, right? Like this, these are the summer months. Is that yes? Okay, because I, I was so. I kept thinking like, is Tommy? Does he go to school? Like, does, is he homeschooled? Um, because he seems like he's a huge part of the operation at the ranch. And I was like, so he's only he can only do that for three months out of the year. Right. <laughs> They don't really. Because he wakes up at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, which, is that accurate? Do ranchers get up at 4.30 in the morning? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, crazy. That's excessive. excessive. And then he, yeah. there's a big thing about him going to bed at like 6 p.m. And Yeah. Yeah, you generally, you're going to try and wake up before your roosters generally wake you up. Because that's the worst if you're actually woken up by one of them. <laughs> have you have you been on a ranch? and? Yeah, so my sister used to ride horses when we were younger. Um, I did it for a short period of time up until oh, I discovered yeah. television. Um, and then <laughs> w- once I discovered television, there was no going back. I was like, I know we're at exactly. this ranch, but I'm going to watch Silver Surfer on fucking <laughs> yeah. Fox right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're, Priority. you're definitely more of a Michael, for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Getting your lattes. <laughs> um, uh you know, I, I was. They explain it later in the movie, but I was a little bit confused about how the ranch was doing so poorly. 
Um, you know, we learned that uh, Tommy's dad uh, had some kind of medical condition. There were medical bills. And then I guess right. once he passed away, they couldn't keep up with the ranch. Yeah. And then also cattle prices are, are down or something. It's because all this yeah. turkey bacon. Because all the turkey yeah. bacon, because all the, the health foods are really bringing these cattle prices down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it just uh, I was a little con- bit confused about that, but um, I guess it makes sense in the grand scheme of things. Um, uh, so they, so once once he finds out, once Michael finds out about the what led to the collapse of the ranch, that's when his character starts to change for the better. I will say, of course, of course. I mean, he does immediately start a uh, pyramid scheme. Well, but... that's, <laughs> yeah. is that after, no, that's before he leaves the ranch. That's, that was insane to me that his go-to, his go-to plan to save the ranch is to start, a, and he's telling this to Twister of all people. Yeah. Like I would start, I, Twister. I would start with his aunt, you know, I would start there. Yeah. Twister, Twister doesn't like the dude at all. Well, he knows his like he you. knows his aunt doesn't have money, so obviously he's gonna go to the person that she's paying. But like, what kind of pyramid sure. scheme would it be? <laughs> he doesn't go into the, the like the products being sold. It's just like, yeah. it's just like, what if we get people under us? <laughs> yeah, it's a very that was insane. very loose <laughs> grasp of the concept of pyramid schemes. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Twister's, Twister's like down, but he's like, I don't think it's going to work for us. <laughs> he's like, that sounds awesome, <laughs> but sounds... I'm not sure. <laughs> I think your heart's in the right place, but that sounds like gambling to me. Yeah. <laughs> I like, because that guy, uh, Twister, is also <laughs> in Django Unchained. No, he's not. <laughs> is he? Yeah. He's one of the three like religious brothers that get killed in the first half of the movie whoa yeah Th- and i was like a- oh pleasant to see him still on the ranch you know <laughs> that's a fun fact <laughs> yeah this is <laughs> this is a prequel to jack <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but obviously his 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 plan for the pyramid scheme fails <laughs> immediately <laughs> and so he ends up deciding that you know i mean he failed he might as well just go home and he's going to go on his wonderful trip. And Tommy says that. Tommy really hammers it in. And yeah. Tommy lays down some massively heavy lines. Like, <clears throat> all Disney movies obviously have an emotional core that can be, like, absolutely devastating. But, yeah. like, there's lines that Tommy delivers where he's just like, there's nothing about you that I respect. Oh, like, like yeah. it, that was it a is. Good one. It is so Gosh. heavy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then when he has to leave, Tommy's just like, you know, just go on and do do whatever you feel like and let us little peasants wither here in the dust yeah. and burn away in a trailer park. And, <laughs> yeah, and Michael's just like, oh, I guess that's Jesus what I have Christ, to do. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, little dude. <laughs> And so then, of course, you know, he, he then has a change in heart, and he's going to sell his trust fund. This part makes I no mean... sense. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's already established that his aunt will not take the money. His dad told him that his aunt will not accept money. And what does he do? He yeah. goes home, and he liquidates a bunch of his assets to give her money. Yeah. Yeah. What did he think was going to happen? Like. I, like oh, but if, if it's from you, that's maybe what, that's and, where and so it's going. This is I thought that what would happen is that dumb auction would happen, and they would either one find out that that two hundred year old thing, oh, the, yes, the yes. chest, was... is like super valuable, or he oh, was going shit. to secretly pay a shit ton of money for it. That's what I was. Th- yeah, I was thinking he was going to like come in and like secretly. You know, buy things at the auction, like like just buy the entire ranch for them, and then let's just gift it back to them or something. Yeah, that's what I sure. thought. Sure. Um, but no, because that have... makes sense. <laughs> yeah, what doesn't yeah, but... make sense is him riding a horse during the auction back to town so he could talk to the banker. Well, there were so many cars in his way, Zach. <laughs> so many cars. I mean, you don't negotiate a land trust in five minutes. That's not how it works. And the, I mean, I will say for the movie's credit, full circle with him getting a D on his on his writing course because he was like, yeah. I remember one part that I got wrong, and then his dad reads it over the phone. I mean, yeah. how convenient is his, his last test of the year is on land trusts? <laughs> yeah, 
you know <laughs> shouldn't he have thought about that from the beginning i don't know it was like the last ditch thing that he thought of which is you know plot convenience also obviously. i'm now wondering <laughs> what his degree is in because why didn't i get to take one of those classes <laughs> i guess is it damn true well i'm assuming he's in law school um because again, I did a little reading ahead with Jumping Ship. Um, that movie starts. <laughs> that movie establishes that his dad's a lawyer and that he's trying to get a job at the law firm. That's kind of that's kind of the so. Uh, he's, I guess he started to become a lawyer. <laughs> did his dad get OJ off? Like Jesus, I guess. <laughs> he's loaded. Money does he? Yeah. Good ass money. <laughs> And that's another thing too. Like, why didn't the dad, who is a accomplished lawyer, obviously he's living in Beverly Hills, and not think of a way for his his sister in law to keep this ranch? Why is his idiot son the one that thinks? Because <laughs> that's the thing about yeah. rich people; they just try and throw money at problems. But poor people don't want that to or happen. Or his dad doesn't have any horse sense. Oh, you know, <laughs> it skips a generation. It, you say. <laughs> Damn. Well, no, that's not. That's, that's the wrong side of the family. It's his. It's his mom's side. That's the horse uh, sense side. Very cool. And again, underrepresented women. We did not hear from that mom ever. <laughs> yeah, the mom was just there to cry and stuff. She was, <laughs> she was emotional. She was just a, an emotional blanket for both uh, Michael and Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, Tommy was dealing with so much shit for being that young. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. And oh man, the scene where. Uh, Michael's like trying to be nice and he rebuilds the uh, tree house and then he's freaking out. Oh, I was like, yeah. that's a panic attack. This is sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has some issues. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I I definitely remember <laughs> that scene. That was a scene I was like, oh, okay, this is coming back. You know, I remember yeah. him tearing the planks it's off traumatic. the tree house. Traumatic. Um, when does the, the scene... Uh, where they where they saved the horse from the I don't know, was it quicksand what the hell was that it, the horse was just I didn't understand it was just like it was just laying in the mud and it was like he's gonna die <laughs> yeah it's like I think it'll be all right man <laughs> that was an intense scene and that's the scene where he he does it was like that slow mo horse whispering scene. <gasps> And now this this land trust revelation that ends up happening, um, mm-hmm. where he's he's bringing together his college knowledge uh, with <laughs> with that ranch of living, um, reminds me a lot of the twist of the film Burlesque uh, with Ooh. Cher and Christina Aguilera, um, because that ends up also being all their problems end up getting solved because they own the air rights of their property. And it, it's a very similar dumb revelation to end up happening. <laughs> and it's, sure. it also, I will say that in Burlesque's case, um, she had even less of a reason to know about that than than my boy Michael did. At least they did the work in this movie to yeah. establish it. Like <laughs> in college, the, the teacher's like, all right, here's your test back about land trusts. But uh, again, right. <laughs> because I thought that was a high school it, it, none of it made any sense when, well, when like, that when that was brought back up i was like what <laughs> yeah like i said i mean yeah. it's super implausible i mean that he would even remember that from his test he get a d on it but also that you have <laughs> enough time to ride on horseback to town to negotiate this land trust with the banker like that is insane to me and well the bank the bank gives him a th- gives them a 30 day extension so that they can explore the concept of the land trust. Oh, I see. So so when yeah. he comes back all triumphant, that it wasn't even set in stone at that point. It was just like I talked to them and I might be able to save your ranch. And that's Maybe. why he says I want to hang out in the summer until the land trust is finalized. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And he's like, I and he's see. like can I do that? Okay. And the mom's like you can do anything you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, that makes more sense. I was a little confused at the end there. So, it, with the land trust, the the bank, <laughs> I okay. So I've been I've been reading up a little bit on it, and it, I think this is a I think this is a conservation land trust because um, that would make the most sense, right? The the, the bank doesn't want to be losing money on this property that's not going to sell, so they yes. turn it into some kind of um, you know national whatever park or or they attach it to some national park and then they maybe get like a tax write off or something on it because they own it um and then they're just a, sure. they're just paying uh they're paying Tommy and his mom just to keep up 
the ranch, keep up the property. Yes. Okay. But the but yes. they don't have any ownership of that property anymore. Like they they still lose their entire life savings. Yeah. They they just have jobs <laughs> now. Like Tommy yeah. just he it's just like he's just, you know, working on the ranch. Yeah. For nothing. <laughs> Okay, All right. so it's not like a real. I mean, it's a happy ending in the sense they can they can continue living there, but he's still getting up at four a.m. Um, <laughs> and I I don't even know how much you're getting paid to work on this ranch. You know, you tell me Tommy you, ain't about that ranch life because he is. I guess, but that's like that's like what like all their family has that and that fucking chest. You know, <laughs> I guess they I guess they kept the chest. I was really hoping that, like, why they reference it so many times for it to not be anything. Yeah. Were you hoping they were going to open it and it was be like, gold we got or the jewels or, or like his, <laughs> you know, yeah. something like the, the dad left something behind or something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was hoping for that, too. Maybe they no had payoff. that planned originally, but they cut it and they're like, now nah, we're just going to have Michael, like, save the day or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think... Um, the only way forward is to watch Jumping Ship. I mean, I think we have to complete the story. Jumping Ship. Jumping Ship. Jump, jumping Ship. Um, yeah. And really explore this this uh, this universe they built, you know? Yeah. Um, and I'm sure they're going to add some stuff. And I try to figure out how it all connects. You know, how does Boy Meets World connect with Jumping Ship? And <laughs> where does this fit re- in with Brink? I remember the cover of this. Whoa. It was a jumping ship. It was filmed yeah. on location too. In Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's just Australia. I I think the pirates are just Australians. <laughs> this movie the, oh, this, okay. this movie just like directly leads up to that Captain Phillips movie with Tom Hanks. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Now that's another connection. <laughs> jumping wow. ship seems rad. I would love and I would love to see how they carry over the themes of four cents into that movie. <laughs> Boat, boat sense. Yeah. I do remember parts of that one, too. I just remember it being just scary because open water is scary, I guess. Oh. I just remember that being very intense. <laughs> yeah, because they get shredded on that boat, right? And then the pirates come and, like, isn't the whole movie? I don't I don't, I don't remember. It. I didn't remember this movie. I don't know why I think I remember jumping ship, but. <laughs> I remembered more of horse sense than I realized. Like, going through it, I was like, I think I remember most of these story beats. Yeah, it definitely comes back to you. I mean, because we probably watched them dozens of times when we were kids, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They played these movies nonstop. Oh, yeah. I just can't believe you didn't teach him how to love. <laughs> I just kept I just kept thinking that was real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would have been more interesting if, like, he had issues, Tommy had issues, like, with his mom or something that, like, Michael resolved. Or, I, I don't know. But the dude was just like he had some issues because his dad passed away. But he was good. He was the man of the house, man. He was just going. I mean, he was taking care yeah. of business in this movie. I mean, I would say from that breakdown that he had, he's do not too good. He's fine. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> he wavers. In and out. They they built the treehouse at the end. It's fine. They did. They did. They did put back the four pieces Planks. of wood that Tommy was able yeah. to take. I also thought it was a dick move. Like Michael shouldn't have just. You know what I mean? Like, it was a project for both of them. Like, maybe he should have worked with him to yeah. build it. Yeah. I don't know. That's why he should have He should have just done, like, 75% of the way there. <laughs> he should have yeah. He should have tore the whole thing down and made Tommy rebuild it. <laughs> <laughs> you could have to tear down those painful memories. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Start from scratch, you little bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I did. The one other note that I had was the scene where they were um, about to ride horses for the first time, I guess. Mm -hmm. And he was like, uh, and Michael's like, I want to ride that horse. He's like, what is his name? And Tommy just says, we usually just call him Black. (laughs) And there's like a comedic pause. And I was confused by that. (laughs) Yeah, I was. It was for it was for your rewatch, you know. (laughs) Oh yeah, sure. (laughs) When you see it the second time, you're like, he means black lightning. Hilarious. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) Really got him there, Tommy. It's another one of those little pranks, you know. (laughs) Yeah, I guess so. (laughs) Yeah, sure. You can fucking you can ride that one, sure. (laughs) Just put the wood in the truck. Okay, idiot. I know where the truck is. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> you thought I meant the truck directly in front of you, you dumb bitch. 
dumb asshole. <laughs> and, and that's... I feel like that's just, like, such a cliche at this point. Like, the the, the city slicker with his college degree don't know all ways. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, like, he was I definitely mean, they, out of place, but he, he would have worked hard if they just gave him the instruction. Like, it seemed yeah. like he was totally down to do whatever they asked because he wanted to go on that trip. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like he was complete like he immediately started doing the work yeah, yeah. <laughs> even if he was doing it incorrectly he was like oh, all right yeah. and just did it all yeah he it's some, like he had a rough you're, start, fi- but. <laughs> you're fighting against yourself by making him do things the wrong way yeah like like the ranch <laughs> yeah, the truly. ranch is like already you know on the brink of collapse and you're gonna m- make these chores take longer <laughs> just just sabotage just it. to get back at your your shitty cousin like i don't <laughs> oh, no. yeah uh, a little extravagant of revenge. But it was funny, dude. It, you know, it was great. It was. Classic. Uh, all right, Josh, do you have anything to promote or plug? On Twitch TV slash Quarant TV, every Thursday, I do a children's show called Happy Birthday Today uh, at 7.30. I guess you can watch it if you want. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for having me. Dude, thank yeah. you for coming on. Absolutely. What are... What are we doing next episode, Zach? I mean, I kind of just want to do jumping ship. I mean, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> like, and I kind of want Josh to also be on that episode. Oh, sh- oh shit. <laughs> I mean, we have to finish this, this story. I would love to watch it. <laughs> I'm... Even if I'm not invited back, well, I'll watch well, it. Well, we have to wait. <laughs> we... <laughs> <Yeah>, Josh... <laughs> <laughs> Josh isn't invited, but uh... <laughs> All right, we'll are you fine that. with that? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with oh, that. Shit. <laughs>